right, so now you have gotten your quotes. You should have a page that looks like mine. Notice that I have quotes from Allstate. Well, actually, they didn't actually give me a quote. They want me to contact them specifically. But notice that Direct Auto gave me a quote of $57 per month. Metro Mile gave me a quote of $90 a month. And Mercury gave me a quote of $93. Notice I can also click to show more results. So as I scroll down, notice that my quotes are getting more and more expensive. Now, how do we figure out which one to go with? Notice that there is a little down button that shows what is covered. Now, before we start that up here, look at this. It says you're seeing options for or with 25,000 or 50,000 bodily injury limits. Remember, we talked about limits. So if I'm in a car accident, the most they will pay is $50,000 for bodily injuries. So if I'm in a car accident and I cause somebody else to get injured, and that other person has to go to the hospital, the most they will pay is $50,000. That means if it costs more for that person to go to the hospital, then they might come back and try to sue me in court for that money. So let's take a look at direct auto. So I would on my worksheet, put my first company as direct auto. It is going to cost me $57 per month. And notice that here it gives me an overview, but I'm going to click the coverage. Here it gives me all of the information that I need. It does give me bodily injury liability. That means it will pay for bodily injury to myself or to others. Property damage, oh, this is actually all liability. Yeah, um, that means it only pays the other people if I injure them. It'll cause give me property damage of $25,000. So if I hit a car that's worth $50,000, then they're not gonna pay for that other car to be completely fixed. So that might get me in some trouble. Uninsured motorist, that means if somebody hits me and causes damage to my car, then my insurance company will help cover it. But they won't help if an uninsured motorist oh property they won't fix my car they'll help me in the in the hospital but they won't fix my car personal injury protection there is no coverage there either and if you always have a question you can just click what is that and it will tell you what all of those are look at see it tells us all of this it tells us collision bodily injury property damage um, personal injury so there's no coverage um, that covers medical bills for you and your passengers. So it's interesting if you have, so basically if we go back to this one, this is very minimal coverage. It doesn't give us very much collision, only a thousand dollars. Comprehensive, deductible, oh wait, sorry, this is the deductible. So if I'm in a car accident, I have to pay a thousand dollars. Remember we talked about the deductibles yesterday? So the deductible means after I'm in the accident and they decide that my car needs $10,000 of repair, I have to pay the first thousand of it. Same with the comprehensive. There is no roadside assistance. That means if I get a flat tire, they're not going to come help me. And I don't get a reimbursement for rental. So if my car is damaged and at the shop, I don't get to get a rental car. I would have to cover that on my own. Now, what you wanna do is take a look at this one and then take a look at the next one. So notice, this one is actually about the same. Look at $90 a month. This one's 57 a month. And if you actually look at the coverage, it's the same. Hmm, what about Mercury? They're more expensive. Do I have a different coverage with them? Nope, it's the same coverage. Let's go down here and look at maybe 21st century. It's $110. Maybe they offer more. Um, they do some roadside assistance, but it's you still got to pay $75. And I'm noticing I don't have a lot of choices here. Oh, see, same. Oh, no, it looks it went up to 30000 and that's only 10,000 for property damage liability. So it's very interesting. So it'd be kind of fun to go back and change some of the numbers and our answers and see if it changes our 
um, deduct our, our premiums. Remember, this is our premium. These are our deductibles. And then this is our limits or our liabilities. So go ahead and use this information now to fill in your graphic organizer. It was back here. Oh, whoops. I am not recording this one. <laughs> so go into your document and start filling in company one, company two, and company three using the information they give you here.